Hi everyone, I, it's Kim here, ready to do some more fine motor activities with you. I'm really excited to show you what we're doing today. We're going to be making some faces. Uh, but first of all, what we're going to do is our arm circles as normal, and then we'll do another little warm up with our fingers, and then we'll make our Play-Doh faces, which I'm thinking will be a lot of fun. I really do hope you share them with me later on as well, so I can see what you've been up to. Okay everyone, you know what you need to do, stand up and find a space. We're going to start with, yeah, we'll start with big, big and fast, forwards, and then big and fast, backwards, and stop, and go forwards, and stop, and backwards, and stop. Now, we're going to do little forwards. I've done little and slow, haven't I? So let's do little and fast. And then backwards fast and little. And let's do slow and little. Now let's do medium. We did medium yesterday. I'm going backwards and slow at the moment. And now forwards, nice and medium sized circles. Now I've got a challenge for you today. What I want to see if you can do is instead of moving your whole arm around, I want to see if you can just move your elbow so let's see if we can get your moving just from your elbow. That's it. Let's try the other arm. Let's just move from your elbow. And let's go backwards. And then elbow on the other side, backwards. Now, I have one more challenge, and if this is too tricky, you can go back to using your whole arms. But I want to see if you can hold your arm out and just move your wrist. So your wrist is that bony bit at the end of your arm before you get to your hand. And backwards just with your wrist. And let's try the other hand. Forwards with your wrist. And then backwards with your wrist. Well done everyone that tried that wrist. And if you didn't, we'll try it again tomorrow. So, today is the 26th of March and we're going to do a learning objective. So if you get your book and get your pen, what we're going to do today is make a face with Play-Doh. That's our learning objective. So I'll give you a minute to write it down. Again, adults can write it down if it's too tricky for you to write. So the last few days, we've been practicing lifting up one finger at a time. Today, we're going to do two hands, but one finger. So, so the last few days, we've been practicing lifting one finger up at a time. What we're going to try and do today is we're going to lift up one finger but on both hands. So I want to see if you can have both hands on the table and then I want to see if you... So what we've been doing the last day... So what we've been doing the last two days is lifting up one finger on one hand. Today we're going to try and do both hands together. So I would like you to put both hands up flat down on the table and then we're going to try and do pointer, middle, Silly me, I forgot thumb. We usually do thumb first. So thumb, pointer, middle, ruby ring if you can, but don't worry if you can't do ruby ring, you can just do some more with Toby Tall. And then baby small. And we're going to do, we're going to go back, ruby ring, Toby Tall, Peter pointer, and thumb. Well done. Now let's see if we can do one, two, three, four, five. You ready? One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Last time. One, two, three, four, five. Well done. Now we're going to try and do our circles 
again with our thumbs and then we're going to do our circles again with our pointer finger. Today we're also going to try and do middle finger which is a bit trickier and we're going to do, you can try ruby ring if you want to, ruby ring is really hard and then you can try baby small. Baby small should be pretty easy, you should be able to make them go in and out depending on which way you went first, you should be able to change the direction with him. Well done. Now, as an extra challenge today, I'm going to give you a pattern to see if you can copy. Oh. Do that on that day. As an extra challenge today, I'm going to give you a pattern to see if you can copy it. So I'm going to go pointer, little, thumb. Can you do the same? That's it, hopefully you got pointer, little, thumb. Okay, forget that one and we're going to do a new one. So get ready for the new one. We're going to go thumb, little, little, thumb. So you have a turn. And then let's do it together. Thumb. For our activity today, we need the piece of paper that I sent out that has got a circle on it. If you weren't able to print it out, it's fine. You can just draw a circle on a piece of paper and then we're going to use that to make some faces. You also need your Play-Doh. And what I want you to do is to use the Play-Doh to make a face in the circle. So we're going to get one little bit. We can roll it into a ball and then that could be an eye. And then we could take another little bit roll it into a ball and there's another eye oh. now we're going to make I'm going to give mine a really big nose so I'm going to get a bigger piece of play-doh and I'm going to give him a big nose and then I'm going to roll out roll out another snake like we did yesterday but a smaller one and then I'm going to give him a mouth so I wonder what you guys are doing with your Play-Doh. Hopefully you can make some eyes and a mouth and a nose. I think I might give mine some hair as well. So I'll give you a little bit of time to decide what you're going to do with yours. So here's my face, I've given mine some crazy hair, a couple of eyes, a really big nose and a smiley face. I really can't wait to see what you guys have come up with because I'm sure you've had some really creative ideas. Make sure you share them so that we can all see what we're, we're doing and hopefully get some ideas um, off each other. So you can keep going and make different faces uh, without me once uh, the video is finished and hopefully, hopefully you can have some fun and come up with some great ideas. For tomorrow we're going to need the play-doh again and there is a new face outline for you it's an animal we're going to make tomorrow so i'm looking forward to showing it to you and getting on and making our animals tomorrow just to, as a heads up for next week we are going to be doing some easter egg shapes so there are some templates there to print out or to draw as well and also what you will need is some colored paper 
So I don't mind if this is wrapping paper or if it's, you could use newspaper, you could use magazines, um, as long as it, if you've got some tissue paper lying around, that would be great. It's just, we are going to be um, ripping it up and decorating our eggs with uh, different colored paper and different types of paper. So have a look around the house at what you've sort of got and I'm looking forward to showing you how we're going to do it. Thanks for joining us today. I'd really love to see the faces that you made. So if you do want to share them with me, just take a photo and pop them up onto Facebook or onto Twitter. And that way I can see what you've been getting up to and we can share it with everyone else as well. Looking forward to seeing them. Mm -hmm.